This is a short video of the venous seal procedure being performed at the Whiteley Clinic. The venous seal is also known as the superglue procedure for varicose veins. The procedure starts by inserting a needle into the vein. This is under ultrasound control and at this point on the video you can see the needle inserted into the vein on the ultrasound inset down on the right. This is the only bit of the procedure that needs a local anaesthetic. Once the needle is inside the vein, this can be used to pass a very thin tube about the size of a biro refill all the way up into the groin. Once it's in place, the inner part of this, the wire, can be pulled out. This leaves just the tube exactly where we want it to the top of the vein. As you can see at this point, we're now withdrawing this inner tube back 5 centimeters. The reason for this 5 centimeters is because the glue travels out of the end of the catheter for 5 centimeters to the top of the vein. If you look very carefully at this point, you might just see some of the glue come out. It's clear, so you can't really see the glue itself, but what you can see is you can see the vein dilate just very slightly as it passes into the vein itself. We then move the whole assembly back just one centimeter and pass some more glue into the lumen of the vein. We then wait three minutes for the glue to polymerize, which means to really harden and make sure it's completely stuck together. Once the top of the vein has been stuck together in this method, we want to stick the rest of the vein together to get a complete treatment of that section of vein. Therefore, using little blobs of glue, we pull the catheter back at exact rates and exact times to make sure the glue is evenly spaced all the way down the vein. The whole idea of this procedure is to try and glue the vein wall together, and that glue should be permanent. Although the glue itself does actually dissolve away, the idea is that as it dissolves away, it leaves a scar tissue which destroys the lumen of the vein and therefore hopefully will be permanent. Currently the Whiteley Clinic is one of the three centres in the UK doing a study to see if this is the case. Once the procedure is finished, the catheter is removed, leaving just a tiny pinhole in the leg. There may be other procedures needed, particularly if there are thread veins or big lumpy veins, and these might need other local anaesthetic, but this new technique glues the main vein together.